What's up guys, it's Ben from Theme Park Groupie and today I'm going to tour you through all the houses and scare zones at Wild Adventures Halloween event, Terror in the Wild. So this is my first time attending this event. This is a very fun, spooky event. It's October, so I'm trying to give you guys as much spooky content as you can possibly bear. Today we're going to Valdosta, Georgia and Wild Adventures and Terror in the Wild. This event stands alone. I don't care what houses you've been to this year, if you've been to Halloween Horror Nights, Hallow Scream, one thing that stands alone at Terror in the Wild is that it's in the wild. Most of these houses are outside. You're either walking over a swamp or into Forest Street. Such an amazing aspect to these houses that is unique to this park alone. We visited this park a little while ago in the daytime, so you guys can click the link in the description to see what all this park has to offer. But now, I'm gonna show you what's here for the spookiness. During the daytime, we toured you guys through all the spots that were used in the Zombieland movie, but going at nighttime was incredible to actually see all the sights at nighttime. It straight up looked like the movie set for Zombieland. Super cool. So for Terror in the Wild, you have four haunted houses and several small scare zones throughout the entire park. Forewarning before I show you guys the houses, I want to let you know this is one of the darkest haunted houses I've ever been in. Super dark and there's a ton of fog throughout the entire house. Just know a few of the clips are going to be a bit fuzzy and hard to see, but I wanted to give you guys the full experience of what we can give you. So for the first house of the night for me was Camp Hackaway. Take a look.
Where are you going? As you can see, the gloominess of the entire forestry all around you during this entire house. So awesome. It straight up looks like you're in a horror film. All the fog and the light coming through the trees. So much fun and so very unique. The next house of the night is called The Mine. Mine, my mine, my mine. 
also, I'm not gonna lie, I'm surprised it's not evident in the recording, but that horn at the end definitely got me stable hands the whole time, sitting there trying to go through the houses like this, holding the camera to show you guys, because that's high priority. The fog made it so hard to see that these scare actors are able to get right up in your face before you even realize what's happening. I really enjoyed this house. So like I said earlier, the scare zones are a bit small, so if you aren't a fan of the scare zones and you like to just get from one house to the other, they're pretty small, so you don't have to worry too much about them following you or anything. The scare area is a pretty small space, so you don't have to worry about that. But the theming in these scare zones are pretty cool, so be sure to check them out if you go.
the environment around Wasteland was one of my favorites. So here's a clip from a couple months ago when we took a tour through Wild Adventures. You can see the house down there from the Twisted Typhoon roller coaster. It's in the middle of nowhere. The environment around you just really put Wild Adventures on the map as far as haunted houses go. And now for the final newest house to Terror in the Wild is Carn Evil 3D Maze. So with the 3D glasses included, this just messes with all your senses and just makes it that much more spooky. <laughs> So I know clowns are a big phobia for a lot of people, not particularly me, but that doesn't change anything. This entire house has so many scares. I think this one probably has the most scares out of all of them. There's so many people that jump out from all these different ways and behind cages and walls and stuff. The art and the theming behind this house was very detailed and made this house very fun for me. So the scare actors in the scare zones are very good. They're on point. They're always on the scare, but they're super nice and it's not very encouraged or pushed. But if you do want to take a picture with them, they'll be more than happy to take a picture and you can make all your friends jealous. So let's go check out some more of the scare zone.
if you don't know a whole lot of info on this event, all the rides are open during this event as well. So of course I had to get a ride on the boomerang before the night was over. appreciate you guys sticking around and watching our tour through Terror in the Wild at Wild Adventures. If you guys do plan to attend this event, let us know in the comments. If you guys did like this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Theme Park Groupie.